Hello YouTube, Minecraft Festus here, and a little while back I recorded a video which was sort of a cool combination lock I made. It was pretty nice, and it still works, I believe. But what I have done in this video is I have totally simplified it even more. So a while ago I'm a while back I made a combination lock that it was pretty it was nice and compact. You I I thought it was the most compact thing possible. I think I've achieved that. Even more. I might have I might have just made the most compact combination lock possible, and I'm betting some, uh, someone else has already made this. So, as you can see right here, um, it, this is our uh, sort of panel of four levers, and if we flick those two, the light will turn on. But if we get anything wrong, if we get that wrong, it will turn off, and if we get that wrong, it will turn off. If you get any small thing wrong, it will turn off, like that. Now, this might seem, well, will probably require a bit of redstone. It, it might seem that way. It doesn't. <laughs> I think this is, I, I, I don't think this is an opinion that it doesn't, it really just doesn't. <laughs> like, no matter what level you're at, I don't think this is a lot of redstone, ever. No matter if you've only touched one piece of redstone dust, I don't, th I don't think this will ever be considered a lot of redstone, even, even when the world ends. This will never be considered a lot of redstone, this is such... This is like six redstone dust right there. That's three redstone torches, two um, repeaters. I mean, you can have the four levers, but those can also be buttons or whatever. Um, and then this redstone lamp, you can run this into anything. This is so ridiculously simple. This is this is probably one of the, the this is seriously probably one of the best contraptions I've ever featured on my channel. At least one that I made. Um, basically, as you can see, it's programmable i have programmed in um that little combination right here that combination uh on off on off i programmed in that but you could program in anything else as you can see here this combination is like that and as you can see the wiring behind it is slightly different uh if you notice where the repeaters and the torches are the wiring is slightly different um and so it's easily programmable you could have it um, run into anything, for example, here, you could have it run into a door, and you could have it be anything up to 15 blocks. Um, 15 blocks is sort of unnecessary, un unnecessarily long, unless it's gonna do something, like, crazy that will get everyone a million diamonds and you want to really secure it. This has about 33,000 possible combinations, which is enough for most people, to say the least. Um, as you can see, though, if we do this really long, sort of, um, on off pattern that I programmed in in the back then the door will open and you guessed it we will enter into a chest full of absolutely nothing and as you can see in the back it's pretty much just the same redstone just repeated more and as you can see it has sort of a it has sort of a similar repeater um, repeater and torch thing as all of the other examples shown now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to make one so I'm just gonna give a quick example um, oh, by the way, if you want to make it longer than 15 blocks, um, you can just hook up multiple modules together. But right here, as you can see, uh, continuing, right here, as you can see, I have sort of a, just a simple four levers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this. So currently we have no wiring behind this, totally bare, but believe me, in the end it will look like something like this or this. So we're going to do a pattern, say, off on, off on. So we're going to start back here. Now, this is important because, so I've already chosen my pattern, but if you don't have a pattern chosen, choose your pattern right now. This is where you need it. Um, so I chose off on, off on, so in the end it's going to look like this, and that will be what will turn the light on. You'll make it look like that at the end. Um, so basically, what we'll need to do is this lever will be off, on, off, and on. So. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do, like, a repeater or a torch for each um, lever. So if we want to make it off, we're going to put a repeater, and if we're going to make it on, we're going to put a torch. So since this one is going to be off, we're going to put a repeater right there. Important. Place a block under it, obviously. Um, so this is going to be off, so we're going to place a repeater behind it. But this one, we want to be on for the combination. It's going to be like this, remember? Off, on, off, on. So since this is supposed to be on when the combination is correct, we will put a torch behind it because that is what you're supposed to do for something that is on. Um, um, off is repeater, on is a torch. Off repeater, off is on is torch. Um, so then we're going to continue as um, you might remember. So it's on or er, er, off on, and then 
then this is off, so we're going to put a repeater, and then the last one is on, so we're going to put a torch. Not too complicated of a pattern. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to put a line of blocks all behind this. Remember, you can make this longer than four blocks, and you could do a totally different pattern. Just remember to do off for, uh, or repeater for off and torch for on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build a bar sort of like this, running into um, all of these things. No matter how long you make it, you if you have it like 15 long, you could have um, you could like have it just be that that bar be that length. Then on top of that bar, you're going to want to place a line of redstone a bit like this. Congratulations, you're basically done. Yep, you're basically done. You just have one more torch to place. Just place that at the end of your bar, and you're done. That torch at the end is your output. Yay! Congratulations, you finished making the combination lock. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to wire it into the um, uh, redstone lamp right there. So let's just do that quickly. We're done. Right there. Yep. That's how simple it is. If you do that quickly, that'll take you like a, a, a minute or less. Actually, I was meaning to do one of these for um, uh, my new one minute contraption series. But then I noticed that I could simplify it. And Yep. <laughs> It's done. Now, as you can see, so our combination is off, on, off, on. So let's do that. Off, on, off, on. And as you can see, when we do that, our um, redstone lamp will quickly fire on. That means we have the combination. It, that means that means that we have the combination correct. Now, like I said earlier, we could wire this into pretty much anything. Here we've wired it into a door. Let's just do that over here, just for if you take. Um, as you can see, I think. Yep. Yeah, I just block updated. So now, as you can see, we sort of have our full combination lock now. It's the door is closed, but when we flick to the correct combination like that, we have it open. Yay. Um so yeah, this has been the full tutorial. It's like we're seven ten in. Um very, very short, very, very simple. I have I hope that you guys have enjoyed this contraption. Um leave a like, build it on your own. That would be very good. Thank you guys for watching this. Minecraft Fest is out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.